That's it, then. Might as well have your tea. I'm going out. Come on, Mrs. McCoy. Good day, Frankie. Hey, what do you want? I thought you'd be glad to see me. Morning, Jack. Come to settle what I lost to you, Sethi. Four dollars, right? Yeah. A cup of tea just made? Yeah. Ah, you got your letter, did you? Young Chicka Robinson down the street, he got his letter this morning, too. Yeah. His appeal got turned down. So what? Well, I was wondering if you'd... I'll see you later. Oh, to make him or break him. Or he'll break them. i tell you one thing, they're going to find him a real handful. on Vietnam. What's Vietnam to you, pal? Nothing, mate. I just sell the papers. But you can't put your age back. You might be lucky. Your marble might come up. What was that all about? I never saw him before in my life. Anyway, a pub or a barber shop. Well, good day, Frankie. Hey, what are you having at seven? Well, thanks, Frankie. Serves me first for the day, like a middy. You know, Patter, you ought to grow your hair long. What do you mean, long? Yeah, you know, down over your ears. It's all the rage now. Oh, come on, Frankie. What did the blokes off I fronted up with hair down the back of me neck? In Newtown? A man to be a real galah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, right, Nugget. Why worry about the blokes? Think of the women that see you with new eyes. I'll break it down, Frankie. I'm a happily married man. Yeah, but your wife's gone on this trip, though. You might do a bit of good for yourself. Right. <laughs> I'm warning you, Nugget. How about it, Petter? No, thanks. I'll leave it to you young fellas. Cheers. Cheers. All right for Saturday? All right for what? The SP, same as usual. <laughs> I'll be busy Saturday. Too busy to take bets. Ah, oh, well, it's dead Ricky running a book in a bar. No doubt about that. Good for the bar trade, but uh, not like before it was the t when the tab come in. Reckon you're on the right track. <laughs> you're right on the ball, Patter. No doubt about it. Ah, here's the old villain. Oh, I thought I'd catch you at it. Good day, Jack. Good day, Nick. Frankie's in the chair. What do you mean, Frankie's in the chair? Today, Frankie's in the chair? Today? Oh, so help me. I forgot. I clean forgot. You're a beauty, you are. Frankie goes off tomorrow and you forgot. Got a man to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> look, mate, look, look, you've had your one now, now push up, will you? Huh? Right, so long. Good to see you kicking on, Nugget. Oh, well, no. oh, I'll be back. <laughs> me talking about SP and Saturday, a man wants kicking fair, Deacon. I don't know what come over me. Maybe it's Vi going off on a trip. Too much for you. <laughs> Whiskey? Scotch, the best drop we got. And it's on the house. Well, it's about time you let your head go. Oh, well, <clears throat> it's a big occasion. Frankie, you're going to enjoy the army, and we're going to give you a proper send-off. Glad to get rid of you, are you, Patter? If anyone that comes near was going off like you are, I'd do the same for him. Yeah, I thought you was against this conscription business, Mick. I am. That don't stop me wishing him luck, does it? He's had a tough trot. <laughs> Not whinging. Yeah, I've always said it wasn't right. Jack and me was in the last punch-up, but that was different. Now, if a young bloke wants to volunteer, that's his business. But conscripting him into it, that's wrong, definitely wrong. He's making speeches again. I can say what I think. Drawing a marble out of a barrel. Wrong, that's my opinion. And don't tell me I can't say what I think. Oh, it's a free country. Here's your mate. He must have radar. He knows when there's a free drink on. All right. All right, right out about you, peeper. Huh? Right. That's Frankie. How'd the football meeting go last night, Mick? Just now, people, we've got something more important than football. Frankie's going into the army tomorrow, and we're farewelling him. Tomorrow? Well, that's tough. At least you've got yourself a job with one of these big blokes. Could have kept you out. You know bloody everything, Peeper. 
I'm only telling you. I've had my time working for other people. I like to get my day the easy way off mugs like you that know all the fast horses. Yeah? For two years you won't be able to, though, will you? No, but you'll be here, won't you? Uh, so you're giving him the big send, don't well, you? That's right, that's right. Now, I'd like you all to raise your glasses. <laughs> and... uh, all right, all right. Tell me. Have I said? I'm asking you all to raise your glasses. Now then, Frankie, we're going to miss you. You've been coming here for three years now. And I can remember you a lot longer than that. When you used to come in here under age. I remember you as a kid, Frankie. And I knew your father before you, and you've been part of our life. Hey, uh, Mick, when can we have the drink? <laughs> I know more than anyone, Frankie, you've had it tough, and that's for sure. Yes, but uh, this has been your home. Your new town born and bred, and you've never lived outside this area. It's got to live outside it now. <laughs> Who's for holiday in sunny Vietnam, eh? <laughs> We've seen changes there, Frankie, in your lifetime. We've seen the Greeks and the Italians come here to live. I'll say some dogs. Eh? The dogs. <laughs> now, take note by the time you get back, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's talking. A poem. How long since you come out here, Peeper? Oh, There's significant... something in what Peeper says, though. They don't learn the language, the wogs, but they pile the dough away. Keep them to themselves, of course. Yeah, well, I'll be fighting for them so they won't have to worry, uh, will they? As I was saying, we've seen some changes, but it's still the same old new town, and Frankie's gonna miss it. And we're gonna miss Frankie, that's for sure. And Frankie, here's to you, wherever you go. Here's to you, Frankie. Yeah, good luck. God, you blokes make it hard for a man when he's got something important to say. Well, I've never seen the bloke yet could stop you. <laughs> Hey, where you got to report to them, Frankie? <laughs> I'm gonna make a phone call. Yeah, sure. How'd the uh, league club meeting go last night, Mick? Oh, you should have been there. Well, I would have been, only had to work. Old Jones, he got into the neck from all quarters. Well, he had to, didn't he? I mean, when a league team goes on losing matches, you've got to trace it back to the coach. That's for sure. Hello. Yeah? Oh, thanks. Yeah, what for? <laughs> for everything. For the farewell. Oh, she's sweet. Better Fit Manufacturing Company. Hello, well, Margie Harris, please. Is this a private call? <laughs> no, love, no, it's a national broadcast. Hey, why didn't he marry that sort? Why don't you ask him? I suppose he's getting what he wants without, eh? <laughs> Hello? Hello, Margie, hon. It's Frankie. Hi. Are you feeling excited? Hey, we must have got our lines crossed or something. This is the army I'm going to tomorrow, not the Lodge of Canberra. Are you looking forward to it? Say, so, Skeet, what say we meet tonight sometime instead of taking off the first time, eh? Huh? Would you like to come round home? What say, your sister can give me the rundown and everything that makes me louse, number one? Oh, Dorothy isn't like that, really. It's Sorry. That's out. Our... Same place, same time, then. All right. Same place, same time. Okay, bye. Bye. Hey, there's a switch. I'm looking forward to it, she says. <laughs> hey, Peter. Yeah? <laughs> I heard what you said about Margie. I'll see you when I'm on leave, Patter. Got no problems, have they? <laughs> they are only very young boys. Yeah. Yeah, they're just kids. Good luck to them. Bloody McCoy. <laughs> I'll get him. Come off it, mate. You wouldn't get near him. No? You asked for a knuckle sandwich, mate, and you got it. You stick together, you blokes, don't you? Is that how you get away with that in the bar? Hey, you're lucky it wasn't his old man that hit you. What'd you say about SP peepers? I was saying that one... Oh, good day, Roy. Uh, give us a packet of filters, room, please. Mate. If it had been Sam McCoy, he'd have killed you. Yeah, he got himself killed, didn't he? A bail fell on him, working on the wharves. Accidentally on purpose. A crane cable snapped. I wonder if they got any cranes in the army. 
Like I wonder how'd you have been, Peeper, if your old man had been killed when you were 13. Been battling ever since, Frankie has. Hey, you're not battling to get out of the army. Because there's only him and his mother, that's why. Yeah, but they were on to him, weren't they? Oh, shit. They turned his appeal down. Yeah. Peeper, what'd you say about this, P? I said that one day somebody might dob you in. Hey, were you thinking of trying it? Who, me? Ah, oh, get off. <laughs> Hey, what's his birth name? That bird he's always knocking around with? Her name's Margie. Oh, yeah. Margie. Why? I feel sorry for her. I'm going to miss you. I miss you, too. Makes me feel proud. Proud? Why? Let's sit down. Frankie, don't tell me not to be proud of you. Tomorrow, I'm going into the army. I'm giving up a lot of time and a lot of money to get into a lousy uniform. While everyone else in this great free country is running around and piling up dough and having themselves a ball. I'm picked to go and fight in a stinking war. That doesn't mean as much to anyone around here as who's going to play St. George in the grand final. And why should it? What's Fiat Nian got to do with me? I didn't start it. Harry didn't start it either. So we get round to your brother. He happens to be there. Harry joined the regular army because it was a job. Now, don't tell me any different either. Just a job. Frankie, it's not really the war or the army, is it? the army, hey. Suddenly, he's a hero. He can keep his brass bands. I'll just take the brass. Someday, you'll find out that money isn't everything. Well, doodle, everything turns up. They come so easy, don't they? What? The smart cracks. Things you hear other people say on radio or television. So easy. Skeet. What? Come here. This is our last night, perhaps for a long time. Don't let's muck it up. I'm a man and I want what other men want. You! Always you! You expect everything from a bloke and you give nothing. Well, don't you think I've wanted it too? Sometimes I've gone home and cried all night. I've wanted it so much. Well, what's the problem? Look, other girls... I know the other girls! Well, I'm like other men. Are you? Other men could go into the army without making such a big personal tragedy out of it all. Oh, not you, though. You've got to have the whole world against you. Other men can be with girls can without, they? without one Can they? I've got news for you. <laughs> Ski. <laughs> can't help it. I can't help being the way I am. Ski. I'm old fashioned. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Ski, come here. <laughs>
you got <laughs> All right, you had. Oh, I wouldn't say that, mate. <laughs> You're out of your territory, you glee mob. This is kind of a special night. We're looking for the rat, yeah. I come to feature with Rat McCoy. Well, clear out. Get back to glee. Hey, just up down, Terry, we'll end up getting the chicken. Oh, what's the matter? You're turning pile. Hey, where's the rat? Hey, I know where he'd be. Well, great. Let's go front <laughs> 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 hey. The ladies get served in the lounge, right? Huh? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the rabble? Believe mob, they don't mix. Different mobs, see? They're looking for Frankie. All those kids buried in that old cemetery up there. Some of them died before they was even a month old. No, all that was a hundred years ago. Our kids will have a better go. We won't live around here when we're married. You're nice tonight. <laughs> Are I always? No, you're not. What's wrong with me other times? Doesn't matter. I love you anyway. She loves him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She loves him, yeah, yeah. Why, Charlotte? It'd have to be you, wouldn't it? Oh, very well. Come on. Good. Ah. <laughs> the rat's scared. Yeah. Come, oh, come on. Come on. Do the boot coming. Give me what you want. Frankie, no. <laughs> All right, what happens now? So you come up with the boot in, is that it? The way it happens every night. Four of you with one man lying on the ground. Well, come on then. When are you going to start on me too? <laughs> well, what's stopping you? Oh, it's too easy. Frankie McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fellas, let's go. <coughs> oh, get on the right. Are you gone? You weren't knocked out at all. <laughs> you think I was going to let them know that? Have them do a fit of stare on me? Have a heart, will you? You let me sit here and face them and you just lay oh, there. Oh, you're doing a good job. Better than I could have done. You just lay there. Oh, and if anything had gone wrong, I'd been up like a shot. When I think of me... Oh, Skeet, there was four of them. Right. <laughs> you're a quick thinker, aren't you? I've got to learn how to survive around here. Go on, love. In the morning. We'd better get you home. I told you, I walked into the door when I come in. I've heard that one too. I've got no time for more tea. You don't have to drink it. This the army won't call the war off if I'm five minutes late reporting to the depot. I'll put some lunch in with the things I packed in your bag. If the army wants me, they can feed me. You might be hungry by the time they do. Be gone. Don't leave this in the butler anywhere. Should be right. Frankie. Look, I'll write to you from camp, huh? Goodbye, Frankie. Look after yourself. Look after yourself. Have I missed him? Oh, he's just been gone two minutes. I was on the way to work and thought I might catch him before he left. How's his eye? He walked into a door when he came in. He's never been able to talk much, you see. Why not? Oh, he never could when his father was in the house. Is that why he always has to fight? 
Why, he hits people in bars. Oh, Sam, it always had to be a battle. Up against everyone. It doesn't have to be. Not with Frankie. And by the time Sam was killed, it was too late to change Frankie. He's got nice things in him, though. Frankie, I mean. And he won't let them show. He thinks someone might take advantage of him if he does. That's right. Most of the nice things about him he's learned from you, Margie. He's different with you. I get frightened sometimes, wondering what he'll do to himself. I'm not strong enough. I can't do what has to be done. I can't either. That's why I'm glad it's happened. What? The army. Oh, we don't know, do we? It's like Frankie says himself. You can't see around corners, can you? 